Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sock City YouTube channel. And for today's video, can you take a guess at what we're making? Texture it gives me up top, not just being flat on my head. This in the back is adorable. Then I have my little clip in to give a little extra something. I have this on each side. I think this is so cute. I use it for around the house, for going to school, for going to do some errands. I've actually been, I have this one because I've tested this out the last couple of days because I want to make sure it was cute and sturdy for you guys. And I've gotten so many compliments on it at school when I was out running my errands. And I love how I can pull up my front pieces to kind of bring my face and kind of give that like boho chic kind of look, maybe a little bit. You guys know what I'm saying? Okay, and for this video, we are using these beautiful little cow daisy socks. Cow print is so in right now. You guys will love these. These are so beautiful and I love the little flower accent. And who doesn't love red? Right. All you need to make this little cute headband are your favorite Sock City socks and a pair of scissors. That's all you need. So simple, guys. You y'all know I'm all about that super easy, super fast, super simple for all ages. This is for all ages. Grab your daughters, grab your mothers, grab your sisters, grab your nieces. Have a Sock City DIY headband night and get to going. Isn't this so cute? Let's make our headband. I would always make headbands like this with t-shirts and I never liked it because they were always too thin. I never knew how long or how wide to make them and they never would like really stay in because of how thin they were. But man, these socks, these are freaking cute and they stay in and they're so thick and I mean, they're not too thick but they're like the perfect amount of thickness and they look so cute. I'm gonna show you guys how I wear it, okay? Or how I put it on. So again, this, oh, crazy hair. Okay, this is what we have. Again, not perfect right there. Not perfect in the middle. It's not about being perfect, guys. It's about what you like. And it still has that curve right there. But what I do is, the ends will curve because it's a raw hem. See how they're curved in like that? Because you pull it and then they naturally curve in. So it gives us a nice, even edge on our head. So what I like to do is I'll either start with my hair behind my ears or for this, I'll just start with it all out. I'm gonna have most of this hair out anyway to frame my face. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put it right here, like kind of like where I want it, maybe a little bit closer to start. Go right behind my ears. And then I'll take it from behind and I'll cut it once. And you can honestly do it like that, like that's tight. But just for safety and to make it a little bit shorter, I like doing it twice and think it's cute when they pop out like that. And then I turn around and I move it back just a little. These cute, um, take out my face framers and kind of pancake this a little bit. And 
that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please make your headband, take a picture, and tag us on Instagram. We'd love to see you girls rocking your cute little headband. And tag us so we can repost and share the love that you guys show us every single day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I want to see your cutesy little headbands you ladies make. And don't forget, check out our website to pick out your favorite pair of socks to strut your style. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.